Welcome back to part two. You're watching Bay TV. This is the Tonight Show, and we're here until seven o'clock tonight. Don't forget, if you want to be on the show, you can do all you need to do is email viewers at swansebay.tv. Now, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, we brought the show live from the Swansea Beer and Cider Festival, and it kind of got us thinking. How are local breweries preparing the Halloween and Christmas season 2017? So we've arrived here today at one of the first breweries in the region, the Thomas Watkins Brewery, which opened its doors in 1996. Let's go another chat and maybe a taste test. Right then, someone that you may recognise is off to my left on my twisty chair. It's Bernie, who's brand ambassador for Thomas Watkins. Yep, hello. Now, we spoke to you a few weeks ago and we've been tempted back by you today. And we're in your, your, your private bar almost, isn't it? Feels like it. Yes, it's the uh, the bar, the tap room, if you like, of Thomas Watkin Brewery. Welcome. Thank you, but it's good to be here. Now, you've got lots of plans for the next six months or so, haven't you? There, there's lots of things going on. We're uh, developing new beers, um, as well as keeping the traditional ones. We've got our craft beers coming along. Uh, we're also doing um, one for Halloween, which... Um, I believe is called Black Witch, so keep an eye out for that one. Our brewer will probably tell you more about that later. Now, part of your job as brand ambassador is to take the brand out into marketing, I suppose. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I, I go around the supermarket having chats to the managers there, the ones that have our beers on. So it's Asda's, Tesco's, uh, Morrison's coming up, um, Sainsbury's as well, I believe, and we'll be going around doing tastings. So when, when a new beer hits the shelves, as one of ours will be soon, I'll be going into all the different Morrisons and giving them tasters. It's a dream job for you, this. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So with some draft as well. There's there's a huge market, increasing market for, for proper beer now, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yes. Um, my son used to make me laugh because he'd come in, oh, mum, it was a really good, uh, you know, good lager on tonight. And I'm thinking... <laughs> Wrong okay. words. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My youngest boy is very much into the real ales as well. So, um, uh, you know, my husband and I used to, well, we've been mem members of camera for about 14 years. So it's, um, to me now, going into a pub is not going in and thinking, oh, what shall I have? This one's too sweet. That's too sweet. Um, don't like the alcohol pops. Now it's just straight for the beer. And if there's real ale on, I'm in seventh heaven. So I love it. Absolutely love it. You were mentioning earlier that you can actually cook with beer, and I've, yeah. I've never cooked with beer before. Mm. So, I mean, we've got a, an array of different titles here. What's the best one, do you think, to, to cook with, and what can you cook it with? Oh, gosh. I mean, the best is taste, really. I mean, wh whatever you want to do. There's the usual taffy apples with pork, fantastic. Um, if you've got a nice piece of beef, then either the OSB or the uh, the Bloodwinds beer, that goes down superbly. Um, cooking it in the juices. If you've got a slow cooker, uh, oh, even better in a slow cooker. Fantastic. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it, because you get all the, the flavours really concentrated. Yeah. Um, and as I say, if you've got something like the, uh, the Kura Idris, Again, that's slightly malty. So to have that with a nice, strong piece of meat, beef, would be absolutely superb. Because people cook with wine all the time. But yeah, yeah. There's no reason why you can't venture out and, and try something no. different. And also, when it comes to the table, instead of having um, a glass of wine, share a bottle of beer. Mm. Because, you know, it, it's there to be drunk. If you have it in volume, it's not going to be quite so... Um, I say appreciative, then, you know, it's, it's more a question of, well, if you share a bottle, instead of having almost a pint of uh, liquid, you've got half and it, it's, you can make it last longer. You can enjoy it that much longer. It's brilliant. And we, I, I was saying to you when, when we first came in here today, I was watching on YouTube a couple of weeks ago, about mm. the way you pour a beer into yeah. a glass and we've been doing it wrong for, for yeah. years. Robustly is the word, I think. Um, Yes, pour it down the sides, but make sure it's uh, encouraging ahead because as you're pouring it in, it uh, dissipates the, the gas that's got in it. Um, and, of course, the, the foam on top then seals in the flavour so it's not going away, but at the same time, 
the bubbles that's pushing up bring the flavour up to your nose. So when you're, if you're like me, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a beer snob by any means, but every now and then I go in for these um, uh, judging competitions. And the idea is you pour some in and you cover and you mm. smell. And that is what helps bring up the flavour. Mm. Um, once you've got your, your nose filled with the smell, then you go on to the taste. And it, it's, it's just, um, it concentrates your thoughts. So with us we've got Alex who's the head brewer. We should be going like this to you, shouldn't we? Oh, I wouldn't go that yeah. far, no. <laughs> no. What's your favourite flavour? Uh, my favourite flavour of beer, probably a citrus beer. Yeah. Um, very fashionable at the moment. A lot of blonde beers have a lot of citrus flavours in it with peach and mango flavours on with an aroma product like that. Oh, that, that, that sounds that's simply lovely to me. How much per se have you got in, in the flavours now? Well, the flavours are, are mostly down to me and the team. Obviously, we decide on what, what products we want to produce on a, on a day-to-day -day process. Um, when we're launching new products and we're bringing out new products into the market, obviously, we discuss it as a team and we discuss it with the, with the owners as well. And obviously, we decide um, with the sales team as well uh, what, what products we want to bring out onto the market and what, what things we want to do to make different new beers as well, new, new styles and new flavours and get them out onto the market as much as we can. Because one of the new ones that are coming out for Halloween is Black Witch, isn't it? Yeah, Black Witch is still in development at the moment. Uh, it's not due to come out until Halloween. Uh, we're planning on doing a, a, black, a, a black beer for that, 4.8% uh, uh, with spice, a spiced beer as well. Um, it's still in development stages at the moment, so I can't give too much away. <laughs> but uh, but ho hopefully it will be a, a very popular product at Halloween as well. I bet the taste testing is fun, isn't it? Taste testing is the best <laughs> part of the job. It's a lovely part of the job. Obviously, I do, we do taste testing of all of our products all, uh, as we're producing them. Uh, but normally we have a taste test on a Friday afternoon, ideally on a Friday afternoon, so we can sample all the products we've done through the week and we've done throughout the year as well to make sure everything is crisp and perfect and how it should be like. So what about leading towards Christmas? Are you, are you already planning for that at the moment? Yeah, we're already planning for the Christmas period. Uh, Christmas period is obviously very popular. Uh, we've got to make an extra lot of beer for that period. Obviously, the supermarkets take much more volume as well. And obviously we need to bring out new cask beers for Christmas as well. We do a cask beer, which is a Kura Santa. Um, we do a couple of, we, have a, we send our beers, not just around Wales, we, we tend to them around the UK as well, so with some of the cask beers over Christmas as well. So it's an exciting time, busy time as well, but uh, that's all fun. It's all part, part and parcel of working in the brewery and, and it's an enjoyable time of the year as well. The brand has been around since 96, so yeah. you're one of the, the older guys, I guess, but it's, you're progressive, aren't you? You, you don't sit back and just do the same things all the time. You're very active in, in getting new material. I well, I, I think if you stand still for too long, do you mean you get left behind? So as a business, we try and innovate and, and make new products as often as possible. And um, we've just started making new craft beers, which is small batch brewing, um, because we've got our traditional products, which are out on the market, which are very good sellers and some lovely beers. But obviously we need to get into new, into new markets as well. Um, we also rebrand our products as well. Um, we've just, on our, all our bottle products now, we're I've just done a new crown cap, which is a Welsh crown cap as well. So obviously that when Mrs. Jones goes to Tesco and she's buying beers for her, <laughs> but buying beers for her husband and she don't know which ones to pick, hopefully she'll decide, oh, I'll get him some Welsh ones. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we just want the Welsh scene to stand out as much as possible and promote the fact that we're a Welsh brewery and we're proud of it. So from start to finish, from making a new batch with all the hops and all of that today, when would that actually hit the shelf? Um, in the bottling side of things, it'll probably be about a month. Um, to get the pro product developed, to get all the labels created, and obviously to produce the beer and to get it and to get it bottled and packaged. In the cask side of things, um, we can produce a cask beer within about a fortnight uh, for brewing and packaging, giving it time to condition in, in the cask as well, and to get it sent out to trade to be at the perfect, uh, a perfect tasting for the customers. It's a big operation, this. Well, it's 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 not the biggest operation. Do you know what I mean there are a lot bigger breweries out there than, than us? But we, we're up and coming and we're doing our best to obviously to, to, to implement ourselves into the market as much as possible. Obviously, there's new breweries starting all the time. So obviously, we've got to keep our game as good as possible, do you know what I mean? By reinventing ourselves, making new products, 
and just making sure Thomas Watkins tries to stay on top for as long as possible. It's great to know that a, a Swansea company, isn't it, is continuing, even though it's, it first started in 96, yeah. it's still growing today. It's still growing today, yeah. We're still investing in the brewery all the time. Obviously, as a brewery, it's a lot of plant work here as well, so it has to be reinvested in over and over again. Obviously, machines break down, we have to keep reinvesting. And we've invested, we've got a brewery shop here on site as well, so we have a lot of customers that work locally, that stop here on the way home from work and buy a few different beers. And we just give it a different option for, for local people as well. And creating Welsh beer, in a, you know what I mean? By Welsh people and Welsh, mm -hmm. Welsh brewers as well, which is, a, is an extra aspect for us. Like.